Hi all, thanks for tuning in. I am Christina Burns, founder of the Neterna Institute in New York City, and today we are going to be talking about why dairy is not ideal for your hormones, fertility, and overall health. Many moons ago, the dairy industry spent billions of dollars convincing us that dairy was our main source of calcium and that we should eat several servings today. You may recall slogans like, got milk, and the implied idea that we will grow big and strong if we drink a glass of milk a day. And so I remember growing up, I did that a lot. I also had chronic ear infections that were likely a result of that. Now in my adult life as a practitioner, I've done a deep dive into dairy allergies in children and adults, and ear infections are a common side effect. Food for thought in case you have kids and are having that experience. For adults, it has a lot to do with our inability to process casein and lactose, um, but also that a lot of us have gut permeability or gut issues in this day and age. So when we have gut issues, we're going to be less able to deal with more allergen type foods like dairy products. And there's a molecule called new 5 GC, both in uh, red meat and in dairy that is very hard for humans to digest and generally promotes an inflammatory response. And so it's actually been associated with the development of cancers over time because chronic inflammation will lead to a lot of diseases, cancer being one of them, very scary. Um, when it comes to hormonal health and fertility, uh, low fat dairy especially is correlated with anovulatory fertility. So if you have problems ovulating, for example, and you eat dairy products, especially low fat dairy products, it could be making things worse. There's mixed data on full fat dairy. So I just usually am like, why not kind of avoid consuming too much of it? Now, I understand for many of you, it's you feel like it's unrealistic for you to have none of it in your diet. Fine. Okay. If that's the case, then maybe just keep it to a minimum. Don't keep it in your diet as something that you need to be consuming regularly. There has been a ton of research to come out now, um, mostly out of um, some amazing doctors at Harvard that are just showing odd correlations. Like, for example, in societies like the U.S. where we consume the most amount of dairy products, we actually have the highest number of fractures. 